Hello Phoenixies, welcome back to my channel. So this video is part 2 of my previous video on my channel. You can go and check that out if you don't understand this. Over here I'm gonna make a basically bottle doll, plastic bottle doll and this tutorial is very very easy because I've shown this tutorial in last of my video too. So you can go and check that out for better understanding. Now what I'll do is that I'll take this bottle over here and I'll just cover this with a card paper it's ca white card paper I'll just cover the top and the bottle cap once that is done as you can see it's easily coming out now what I'll do is that I'll make the hands for the doll so of course I'm taking the same card paper and I'm just using my brush for the coiling base and then I'll just glue it out and stick it together once that is done I'll take another piece of card paper and again I'll just make the same coiling So now as you can see these two coilings are of the same size which are for the hands and the other one is for the neck. So now I'll also take some card paper and just draw out some cutouts for the palm. So this is what it looks like. Now I'll take these two and just fold it from the elbow side and then what I'll do is that I'll start making the neck. So over here I'll stick it inside and then I'll just cut out the sides. Now over here I've taken these two hands and I'll place them on each of the side of the doll. Once it's nice and dry I'll also stick the palm. And now for the neck again I'm taking and coiling and then after that I'll just take some coilings and put the coiling on top of the doll body just to give the shape. And once that is done I'll start taking some white tissue paper over here and I'll just cover it on top of the coiling just to make the face. So I'll just put some glue and just crush those tissue paper. Now over here just to get that smooth nice surface to work on what I'll do is that I'll take another piece of tissue paper and I'll just cover it on this side and put some glue so that will give me a smooth piece. Okay so once that is done I'll take some tissue paper and put it on top of the head. Once that is done, I'll take some card paper and I'll just take some very tiny coiling. Over here, I'll just take this cut out of the card paper and put it in the middle as the nose. And then I'll take two tiny pieces of tissue paper and glue and I'll make these ears on each of the sides. So now I'll just cut the axis part and this is how I get over here. Now this is easily movable as you can see. Now what I'll do is that I'll take a paper and I'll start putting it onto the shoulder just to give that smooth effect. After putting some more coiling for the doll body, now what I'll do is that I'll take some white paper and I'll put it on top of this doll just to make the top. So now once that is done, I'll take this part and stick it on top of the doll at the back side. So now as you can see this is what the doll looks right now. Now what I'll do is that I'll take these two cardboard circles and I'll place them over here on the base of the bottom doll so that it can stand properly and I also I'll just put some stones inside for the weight. Once that is done I'll start painting my doll with some acrylic paints.
now guys I'll start painting the facial expressions So after painting the top as well, I'll just take some white paper and just make this folds over here. Once the folds are there ready, I'll just cut it out and this is what I get. It's a hard shape. Now guys, I'll make a lot of them and I'll start sticking it onto the tall top. Basically, it's the tall body. You can start sticking that and I'm going for a white hard top just because so that it can easily be the magical doll which I want it to be and it can work on both the kinds of dresses both kinds of gown which I'm gonna make and I'm gonna show you so stay tuned for that till the end of the video for the magic Okay guys, so now to make the doll hairs, what I'll do is that I'll take some brown wool and I'll just brush it out and then over here in the middle I'll put some glue and put another strand of wool and then over here I'll just tie a knot. Now I'll cut the knot and then over here as you can see I get these two edges, I'll just trim the edges. Now just to make the wig cap, I'm gonna take this silver foil over here and I'll just stick it on top of the doll's head. And then I'll put some glue over here on the top as well. And I'll start sticking the hairs. Now over here as you can see I'm taking another bottle over here which I showed you in the starting of this video that I'm taking two plastic bottles and then I'll just take the measurements and make this card paper gown base so after making that I'll insert the doll insert the bottle over here and And then over here I'll just take some crepe paper and make some flowers out of it. As you can see I've taken blue, green and white. So I'll start with blue first from the base then I'll just put some green and then on the top it will be white.
So guys, once the gown is nice and covered with the flowers, now what I'll do is that I'll just put some dots in the middle out of glue and then what I'll do is that I'll take some silver glitter dust and I'll just dust it all on of the flowers and that will give me a very nice glittery effect. Okay, so now as you can see these two bottle over here are ready and the doll is also ready so you can place on any of the doll and it will look beautiful and that this is the magic of this doll guys as you can see it can change dresses you can use as many bottles as you want and make so many pieces out of it so guys this is the final video i really hope you guys liked it till next time bye bye